Historically, Rhodesian forces are no strangers to bush warfare and can trace their origins back to the late 19th century when the pioneer columns entered Matabili occupied territory. Southern Rhodesia, although promised independence at the time, was to begin a long struggle with Britain over the terms of such independence, especially as Rhodesia had been self-governing since 1923 with its own administration, judiciary and police. At this time, Britain transferred to southern Rhodesia most of the Federal Army and Air Force, as well as the newly created and superbly trained Sea Squadron Special Air Service Regiment. The country became militarily self-supporting. The African nationalists had started their military campaign in 1962, concentrating on sabotage. By 1966, they had begun incursions from the safe haven of Zambia aimed at subverting the local population as well as attacking selected installations. Although the RLI was the foremost proponent of such fire force operations, units of the Rhodesian African Rifles and the Rhodesia Regiment also undertook fire force duties in all operational areas. The escalation of the war in 1976 predictably resulted in a higher casualty rate to the forces of both sides. The Slew Scouts, historically a major thorn in his side, was not even to be afforded the honor of a formal disbandment. In this manner, this fine regiment of men disappeared overnight and into the annals of history. At 1600 hours on the 17th of October 1980, the 1st Battalion Rhodesia Light Infantry was to parade for the last time, and they then too marched into the pages of history. The regiment of the Rhodesian African Rifles was the oldest regular infantry unit within the Rhodesian Army. The RAR had a proud military history, having distinguished themselves during the Second World War in Burma against the Japanese and in the 1950s in Malaya during Britain's counter-terrorist campaigns. Today, these proud men find themselves absorbed into the ranks of the Zimbabwe National Army. December 1980, the last remaining officers and men of Sea Squadron, Rhodesian Special Air Service, were permitted an official disbandment parade. At the time, the 22 SAS Regiment in Britain paid tribute to the Rhodesian Squadron in a special message. Farewell to a much admired sister unit. Your professionalism and fighting expertise has always been second to none throughout the history of the Rhodesian SAS. Sea Squadron still remains vacant within the 22 SAS order. This period is but a fleeting moment in terms of world military history. But it is a moment that produced a formidable breed of servicemen within the ranks of the Rhodesian forces. From the members of the British South Africa Police, the volunteer Rhodesian Women's Service, and the territorial servicemen of the Rhodesia Regiment all bravely played their part. <laughs> 